Let's take a look at the stage manager lop inside of Solaris and what we can use it for. So let's go ahead and just set up a bunch of just random things. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to create a uh, sop create, maybe a couple of these and just toss some geometry in here. I'll do like the test geometries. Doesn't really matter. Just giving us something to have in our scene. And the third one here. Just like I said, throw some things in here just to give us something to work with when we have the stage manager drop down. Go ahead and wire them in. We're also going to create um, a light or a couple of lights. Doesn't really matter. I'm not really setting up anything in particular. Just setting up some different things that you would have in just a normal scene. Also have a camera and like our Karma render settings, just for example. And then in here we can drop down our stage manager and take a look at some things that we can do. So first of all, this is going to bring up basically the same thing that we have over here, just with some other options. So this is what you're gonna to use to kind of manage your scene inside of Solaris. If you've dropped down a bunch of things, you wanna kind of start to organize it a little bit, maybe bring some stuff in. You can actually do that with the stage manager as well. But let's take a look over here in our scene graph. If I go ahead and try to do anything with these, so if I wanna rename these, so you gotta double click and it doesn't allow you to. Right click, it doesn't allow you to just rename them right away. Same with the lights, and we can't really drag them anywhere, can't really move them around. This is kind of just how our scene is set up. Can't drag around anything, rearrange things how we want. So that's where the stage manager comes in. And like I said, you can also bring in objects in your scene if you would like. And you can do that by pressing this folder icon and then bring in the USD files. But let's go ahead and take a look here. If we want to just rename this, maybe this one's called the uh, Craig. Can do that. This was Flippy. We can rename it to Flippy. Just double clicking and it's just kind of renaming things. And then I don't know, whatever this one was called, person. Timmy, I think is what it was. We can go ahead and just rename them. It's going to put them in the appropriate order based off of the uh, alphabetical. And then if we want to maybe group these together, so we'll call this like geometry. We can just create a little group there for that. So we'll do those, drag them under that geometry. And now we have them just all grouped under this little geometry transform here. So we're X form. So super simple that you can do with that. Uh, there's also a second part of this user interface. So we can take a look at all the different changes that we've made. So we have just a list of changes automatically. And if we want to just do something on our own, we can create another, another uh, little edit here. And if we wanted to say, if we didn't want this light, drag this light up here and we can delete that and now it is no longer in our scene, which is pretty cool. So this is a super useful node to just kind of edit your scene and manage your scene, do some different things. It doesn't allow you to really change these settings. Uh, so you're still gonna need to kind of do that inside of like edit nodes and stuff or back go back to your different settings in there. So it doesn't let you to give you access to all of these, unfortunately, but that's all right. We do have uh, the ability to change like variants and stuff in here as well. And you can create childs underneath these things as well. So uh, a bunch of different things that you can do with this node, super useful if you just kind of plopping some things down and you're going about creating your scene, not really worrying about everything. You can just toss everything in and then you can manage it all through this later. Or like I said, you can bring in a USD file just by clicking this little folder icon here. Uh, just be careful if you take a look at the um, the documentation for this node, this little flatten and put node layers. Uh, if you, you're you using layers, just be careful because that is gonna make it a destructive workflow. So just be aware of that and you should be all good. But this is how you go about just kind of managing your scene inside of Solaris if you uh, need to. So take a look at that if you were 
kind of struggling with that, it's probably going to be the solution to your issues. But anyways, just a little quick tip there. I do have a bunch of other videos on Houdini on my channel. So if you want to learn more about Houdini, make sure to check those out. I do have some things on Karma and Solaris. If you want to learn more about that, go ahead and do that. I also have stuff on Redshift if you want to learn more about Redshift. So take a look at those videos if you're interested. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.